Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. So today we're taking our Bible reading and our prayers from the book of 2 Chronicles and we're in chapter 1 reading um, from verse 8. As we find a son um, in a di dilemma and he's talking to God. And so one, um, 2 Chronicles chapter 1 and verse 8 says, So Solomon answered God, you have shown great kindness to David, my father, and have made me king in his place. Now, Lord God, let your promise to my father, David, be confirmed, for you have made me king over a people who are as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead this people, for who is able to govern this great people of yours? God said to Solomon, since this is your heart's desire and you have not asked for wealth, possessions or honor, nor for the death of your enemies. And since you have not asked for a long life, but for wisdom and knowledge to govern my people over whom I have made you king. Therefore, wisdom and knowledge will be given you. And I will also give you wealth, possessions and honor, such as no king who was before you ever had and none after you will have. So we find Solomon um, in this position. In fact, King David, before he died, kept telling the people, this, my son, is young. You know, young, I believe, in political matters, young in the in the ability to rule, and so on and so forth. And they, um, Solomon acknowledges that, and he comes to God and says, God, give me wisdom to be able to do this job that you have given unto me. So can we pray a prayer at this, um, you know, this instance for our children? We want to pray, God, help my children, oh God, Father, know what to ask for because Solomon asked for the right thing. He said, you give me a job to do, help me to do it. Give me wisdom to do that job. Can we pray? Lord, help our children, oh God. Father, ask for the right things. Help them to seek the right things in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray that our children will seek the right things, ask for the right things, desire the right things before God in the name of Jesus. Then another prayer that I want to raise here is that, you know, King David, all you need to do is go through the Psalms and go through, um, you know, the stories about David and you see his heart for God. He loved God passionately. He loved God with everything in him. And we see that um, Solomon knew the source of his father's strength. He knew the source of his father's um, greatness and he knew it was God. And so Solomon went to that same God and began to cultivate a relationship with God for himself. He wasn't only relying on his father David's faith. He was coming to God, yes, on the back of his father because he said, you know, you were with my father and so on. So can we pray a prayer and say, Father, my children will have their own faith in the name of Jesus. My children will have their own relationship with God, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord and my Father, they will grow in their knowledge of God. They will grow in their intimacy with God in the name of Jesus. Then another prayer that we're going to pray, a third prayer that we're going to pray right now is this, and that is God said to, um, God, God said to Solomon, he said, I am going to bless you. I'm going to bless you exceedingly. You know, it said, I will give you wisdom. I'll give you knowledge what you have asked for. And then I'm going to add on to that. Can we pray that prayer for our children? Lord Almighty Father, we pray for our children that God, you will bless them yourself. That Father, you will bless them. You will open the windows of, of heaven unto them. You will bless them mightily in the name of Jesus. You will bless them, oh God, tremendously in the name of Jesus. Father, you will bless them on every side in the name of Jesus. He said, I'll give you wealth, possessions, and honor. Lord, give the same, Lord, to my children. Give the same to every child connected to me in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. And I pray that as we pray these prayers for our children, we will see it manifested in their lives. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a beautiful day.